morning and good afternoon everybody and and welcome um, she told me that this is really a question and answer session and as you can see I've got three other people with me the reason I asked them to come is because they will answer the difficult questions I'll pass them on to them uh, I was saying that you see the uh, <coughs> It, I think all of us understand this very well, that uh, uh, our continent faces many challenges. Um, for years now, in 1999, the, uh, the then Organization of African Unity took an important decision that uh, uh, we would no longer, the continent would no longer recognize governments or that had taken power by unconstitutional means. And indeed, we all thought that uh, when we took that decision, it was a summit meeting in Algiers, that uh, this would be a very strong deterrent uh, against all the soldiers who like carrying out military coups on the continent. But of course, you know very well what happened since then, uh, that the military coups have, have, have continued the most recent one being uh, uh, in Mali. Um, but I'm saying that, you see, we all of us know that the continent has got very, very, very important challenges. Um, and it's quite clear that uh, one of the, these, these challenges is the weakness of leadership. In many instances, you'd find that the reason certain problems persist uh, is because of weak or wrong leadership. Um, and so it was clear, I think, that uh, we have to address this matter. It's not easy. Uh, how do you produce the kind of leader that we need, that the continent needs, the kind of African uh, would first of all have a, a grasp of the challenges that the continent faces uh, and secondly a good idea as to where to go in order to address those challenges. 